Hi you guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, in this video, you guys, I'm gonna talk about these three brushes. You may have seen them on Amazon or hear other videos of people talking about them, but in this video, I'm gonna actually tell you about why are they good? Why are they not good? It's gonna be these three. So if you are looking out to purchase a new brush, I'm gonna tell you what's one to buy out of these three if you have curly, natural hair. Stay tuned. All right, so I did wet my hair on this side, you guys. I'm opening up the Kinky Curly. This is a new one. I had to go to like three Sally's to find this. I was gonna order online, but I don't wanna pay that extra shipping. And I really highly recommend this, you guys. Kinky Curly's knots today. So I'm gonna apply a good lump sum on the hair. All right, so let's start with my favorite one. It's a no name. <laughs> I'm gonna use all three brushes, you guys, 360. All three brushes and using Kinky Curly, okay? And with a little bit of water, and I'm gonna see which one is gonna work that I can actually brush my hair all the way down and brings the best curl pattern and curl texture and less shatin. All right? <laughs> to work actually the tips I'm gonna work my way through the tips I don't know I like how sturdy this brush is the bristles are not too deep that's one thing I don't like because then you can't put that much hair in the brush at one time. It's not really bouncing my hair back, but I probably have too much water in it too. But it's not pulling it. Okay, there's the shed, you guys. Not much. Not much at all like 20 pieces of straight um, in the hair I can barely see. All right. That's that. I'll leave it down below where you can purchase it. All right, let's try this brush, you guys, like pink. I took the little bounce thing and the thing that holds it all together, I took it out. But um, this one's very affordable. It's like under $10. I think I paid no more than $3.99 on Sheen. And I'll put the link down below, so. I like this, the bristles are much wider and longer. They stick out so they can hold more hair. Um, this feels sturdy, but not as sturdy as the other brush. But I prefer this one because it's easier to clean and it can brush more hair at one time nice and neatly. And I think I can even brush it in a different direction. I like that too. Now having the curls bounce back, I don't think that's gonna work for us today to really see, because the hair is way too wet. I give this one thumbs up so far. And this, oh my goodness, like five pieces, five little pieces of shrimp, like of hair, like really nothing. Like barely nothing. Let's just try to be a little bit more rough. 
Let's see. No, <laughs> it's funny. Every time I brush it, like a big chunk of water. Nothing. This is amazing. All right, so let's tangle, tangle the hair up. So, and try the last one. This is my least favorite. I'm just gonna tell you off top, cause you see how it's very like thin here, and it's be like much wider and thicker. And the bristles are different lengths inside. I found this one on Amazon too, people. Let's see. Can't really see because it's black inside. I feel like it's. I know why I bought this one. They said it's good for brushing your scalp. I wouldn't recommend this. Can't hold that much hair. It's for somebody that has like not that much hair. It is sturdy. It's not gonna break. But it's for somebody that has very thin hair. I can't even put the whole bunch of hair in there. It's like it's not going through the bristles right there. So I don't really like this one that much. Yes, it's easy to clean. It's very lightweight, but um, and it and it shed like a good the same amount that the first brush did. It's about the same. Sorry, you can't see because it's black. But it's about the same amount. I give this one two thumbs up. So I would definitely finish brushing my hair with this one. It's so unique and different. Yeah. Hey you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to make it easier for you guys when you're out shopping, you're not wasting money on just random brushes and stuff just because I'm telling you if your hair's texture is similar to mine, that's a, close to like a C, C4, C3, this is the brush for you. Um, less shedding, less breakage, and this will help hair growth. So leave your comments down below if it's any other videos you would like me to do. And thanks again.